Welcome Legion. Today I want to talk to you guys about managing stress and how stress can actually improve your sports performance. We need to know though that stress is actually really, really important when we're trying to improve our sports performance. We actually need stress. So exercise and training itself is actually quite stressful. The point of this stress is that we need to force the body to adapt. It needs to become better than what it currently is, and we need that stress. The only problem is, though, is that when we get too much stress, we start seeing negative effects. When we start getting side effects from all the extra stress that we're putting on our body. Now, stress can come in like different forms. So, training is obviously one form of stress, but stress also works on a kind of accumulation. So you can have stress in the form of exercise, you can have stress in the form of work-life balance. So if you're just working way too much, if something is going on in your life, like you can't pay the bills, um, you're really stressed about work, you're really stressed about university, you're really stressed about your relationships, all this extra stress can actually accumulate so you're going to want to try and train really hard, and maybe you're even using training as a bit of an outlet. The problem is, though, is you're, yeah, you're just building, you're just compounding the effects. So it's getting worse and worse. It's, it's becoming harder for you to recover because your body's having to deal with all this extra stress. Now, sometimes it's it's going to be really hard. You're going to have this stress regardless. There's just these extra stressful times in life. And it's not so much about getting rid of stress as it's more about how you deal and manage stress. And if you've got good strategies to manage stress, you're gonna go a long way in regards to not breaking down because that's what can happen. So some of the side effects of stress can be, you know, a lack of willingness to train impaired training function, and impaired performance. So this is not really what we want. Those are almost the opposite of what we're trying to achieve when we're training. So I'm going to give you some strategies to help you improve your stress management skills. And the first one is to have fun. Make sure you build this into your life. We want to socialize. We want to get around our friends and our family. We want to enjoy life. Having fun is the simplest and cheapest way to just de-stress and unwind. So don't try and punish yourself too much with all the work and training and find time to have a little bit of fun with your friends and your family. The next one is meditation. So not everyone's into meditation but partly maybe because not everyone's keen to slow down, when realistically we probably should be trying our best to actually slow down. We get a little caught up in the hustle bustle of life. But realistically, what we need to try and do is just spend a little bit of time meditating. And it doesn't have to be formal. You don't have to go and do three years of Zen training with the yogis or um, with the monks in Tibet. The really cool thing about technology and all this extra... Um, IT influence that we have on our day-to-day -day lives now is so we can actually use it to our advantage. So we can use things like apps. There's so many good meditation apps out there. One that I've used in the past is um, Headspace. And this isn't necessarily a plug for Headspace, but I used it fairly routinely um, during a fairly stressful period of my life. And it was, it was great. It was actually unbelievable. You don't... I guess, yeah, you get the immediate effects. You obviously feel a lot calmer after you've meditated. But it actually has this unconscious effect when you're not really paying attention. So what you find is that maybe in a normal stressful situation where you really react and it's just too overwhelming, you actually find that you can control yourself a lot better in those situations. So I think they're, they're an excellent option. And look, it's not... They're 10 minutes. They're 10 minutes. So 10 minutes a day, a good suggestion is just to get up, you know, have your shower, get into your morning routine, and just, just spend 10 minutes. Just spend 10 minutes working on yourself. The next one, which is really simple because you can actually do it anywhere, 
is controlled breathing. So controlled breathing, I guess the, the simplest form of this is what we call maybe box breathing. And box breathing is as simple as like a three second inhale, hold for three seconds, three second exhale, hold for three seconds and repeat. And if you do that, even just for like a minute, two minutes, you can do this in the car, you can do this at work, you can do this anywhere. Do it for two minutes and just notice your heart rate start to drop down, your brain starting to cool off a little bit. It's something so simple that we can implement straight away. The last thing we can try is, is something what we call like a, a miracle morning. Now a miracle morning is like a little a little prep for the day. That's a good way to kind of put it. It's a little routine that you can put together and it's just doing little things that you can start to work on yourself. So the first part of this miracle morning is silence. Just sit in silence, 30 seconds to a minute, just, just be with yourself. All the hustle bustle gets in the way, just be with yourself for 30 seconds to a minute. Affirmation. So if there's something that you're trying to achieve or there's a belief system that you need, an affirmation is, it, it, they sound corny when you're obviously talking to yourself and you're yelling at yourself, but you can do it internally, you can do it in your head. All the best athletes in the world, all, anyone who's achieved something, all had an affirmation. And it's just something just to tell yourself that you're doing all right. Um, maybe it's a little bit more specific to what you're doing right now. But it's just a, it's just a reaffirm, reaffirm something that you're trying to do. Visualize. So if there's something that you need to do for the day, visualize yourself doing it. Visual, visualize yourself getting it done. If you want to do a training session today, visualize what that training session is going to look like. Exercise. So exercise can be as little as just like do some stretching, do a little mobility, maybe a little yoga flow. It doesn't have to be intense, just something. Just get the body moving and blood flowing. The next one is read. Just read something. Read something inspirational. Read something motivational. Just spend 30 seconds to a minute. It doesn't have to be much. This is a five-minute total routine. And then the last one is scribe. So scribe is just write down all your thoughts and feelings. Write down what you have to do for the day. Maybe make a bit of a to-do list. But just write some things down. Get all your thoughts in your head down. So now it's not cluttered and clouding your, uh, your judgment and your mindset during the day because you've got it written down on a piece of paper. You're just letting it all go. All right, guys. Hopefully that's helped. Hopefully everyone can start to work on their stress levels and get a little bit more out of themselves. Thanks.